Wirecard's dramatic fall from grace has thrust corporate governance and industry regulation in Germany firmly in the spotlight. The Munich-based payments processor filed for insolvency on Thursday, reportedly owing creditors 3. 5 billion euros, 3 dollars, 9 billion. The company's collapse follows a series of investigative reports from the Financial Times into claims about accounting irregularities. The revelation last week that 1. 9 billion euros had disappeared from Wirecard's balance sheet has seen the firm's share price collapse 98% and former CEO Marcus Braun arrested on suspicion of falsifying accounts. The Wirecard saga and its broader implications raises many questions, with some experts describing the scandal as the Enron of Germany. Under German corporate law, companies are required to have both a supervisory board and a management board. The supervisory board is responsible for overseeing management. Chris Hahn, the head of $24 billion hedge fund TCI, had called on Wirecard's supervisory board to dismiss former CEO Marcus Braun in late April. We are of the view that the supervisory board is legally obliged to intervene, he wrote in an open letter published April 28. In our opinion, the necessary intervention is now to remove the CEO from all management duties. Nonetheless, Braun had resisted pressure to leave. He resigned last week after 18 years at the helm and is currently out on bail after being arrested in Munich last week. The fiasco has led to fresh questions about why Wirecard's supervisory board did not act ahead of time. What you see with Wirecard, it's a disaster, Peter Denon, chairperson of the Association of Supervisory Boards in Germany, told CNBC's Squawk Box Europe on Thursday. Denon is calling for reforms to Germany's corporate governance rules. Though the German Corporate Governance Code was updated only recently, Denon thinks there's a need for something, new, and dialogue-driven, that makes companies communicate with all their stakeholders, not just shareholders. This is modern corporate governance, he said. With the rules presently in place, I feel we're still back in the last century. And for that we need a drastic change. The Wirecard scandal is far from the first to rock the German corporate world. Siemens was hit by a corruption scandal in the late 2000s, while Volkswagen's reputation was significantly damaged by the so-called «Dieselgate» emissions scandal in 2015. Maximilian Weiss, an attorney at law firm Tilp Litigation, which filed an investor lawsuit against Wirecard in May, told CNBC's «Squawk Box Europe» last week, «We are at the beginning of one of the biggest corporate scandals we have seen in Germany. I think there is a lot that needs to be done, Weiss said on Wednesday. Just take a look at the US, what happened after Enron. I think Wirecard is the Enron of Germany. Enron was an energy services company that collapsed in 2001 after revelations of systemic accounting fraud.